very good morning to all this is vetrivel shankar from iit madras india before starting my presentation let me thank the organizing committee for giving me the uh, opportunity to present remotely today i am going to present a talk on user centric design framework for flexible strain sensor at dassault tech before get into the details let's see what is strain sensor and its evolution we all know when we apply a load to any material it gets mechanically deformed this mechanical deformation is called as strain which is the ratio of change in length to its original length when electrical resistance of the material changes when we applied a mechanical load then that material is very much suitable for the strain sensing applications gauge factor is a parameter which evaluates the conversion efficiency conversion of from mechanical deformation into a electrical quantity which is the ratio of change in resistance for the applied strain the first strain gauge is invented in 1938 as you see here one second the first strain gauge is invented in 1938 which is made up of metallic frame from then it's periodically innovated and presently commercially available strain gauges will look like this it's made up of metallic foil its gauge factor is 2 however the emerging applications like robotics soft robotics and wearable electronics demand strain sensor to be highly flexible and high for high performance though advanced strain sensors like mems based strain gauge provides higher gauge factor which is around more than 50 this is not flexible so the ideal choice is polymer nano composite based flexible strain sensor in the literatures of the flexible strain sensor we most of the researchers literatures and concentrated on the flexibility and the performance whereas the end user issues packaging feasibility design scalability is are ignored for example in the installation phase the end user faces lot of issues such as what kind of adhesive supposed to be used to stick the sensor on the substrate and the end user doesn't have a control over the adhesive coating there is a high chance for uneven adhesive thickness in the between the sensor and the substrate few adhesive sticks takes long curing time so the overall installation process becomes highly laborious in order to understand this uneven adhesive thick impact of uneven adhesive thickness on the strain sensing performance we have considered three different cases one is wedge adhesive second case is wavy adhesive third one is uniform adhesives all these three cases have numerically simulated using multiphysics console software as you see here we have created a aluminum substrate layer on top of that adhesive and sensor layer sensor layer is placed at the center of the aluminum substrate one end of the substrate is kept fixed in the other end we have given the load to induce the strain in the aluminum substrate and studied the stress profile distributions here we have shown the stress profile distribution for three different cases for better and along the thickness direction of the sensor and the adhesive for better understanding we have plotted a stress value data at the middle of the sensor along the length along the length direction of the sensor here we have see shown the stress values of the sensor along the length direction as you see here stress values reducing along the length direction as we increase the adhesive thickness in the wavy profile nature the stress profile distribution follows the wavy nature of the adhesive whereas in the uniform adhesive you can see here stress distribution shows that stress values is quite uniform throughout the length of the sensor when comparing the wedge and the wavy profile wavy profile shows the higher deviation so we have probed for further by varying the magnitude of the wavy profile from 0 micron to 200 micron and we observed that when and we found that stress values are following the exponent exponentially increasing when we increase the magnitude of the wavy profile similarly we observed that deviation from the mean stress values are also increasing when we increase the magnitude of the wavy profile from this study we shown that the importance of the uniform adhesive thickness between the sensor and the substrate for effective stress strain performance strain sensing performance by considering all this thing we have proposed a new user centric design framework for flexible adhesive 
flexible strain sensor tip. This design has three different stack of three layers. In the bottom most, we have adhesive with a uniform, ad uniform thickness on top of that flexible strain sensor made up of polymer nanocomposite. On top of that, we have a thin film copper, el copper electrode for contact pad purpose. This design is mutually benefits the sensor manufacturer and end user as it as this is the flexible in nature. This can be rolled in a tape model so that the end user can simply peel it off, cut it and stick wherever they wanted to measure the strain of the substrate. To, in order to achieve this design, material selection plays an important role. For good adhesion of the sensor on the substrate, there is a thumb rule called surface energy of the adhesive is supposed to be lesser than the surface energy of the solid surface. Considering this, we have chosen the acrylic based pressure sensitive adhesive for the adhesive layer because of its quick stack, high self life, high temperature resistance, low surface energy around 38 millijoule per meter square, high adhesion and low cost. And we have chosen the polymer polyvinylidin chloride for the polymer matrix purpose which has 45 millijoule per meter square, which has higher surface energy than the adhesive. With this, we have proceed further. Before making a long flexible strain sensor tape, we have started with the nanofiller, nanofiller preparation. We know that the fundamental problem in the polymer nanocomposite is agglomeration of nanofillers. In order to avoid that, we have carried out the PSS polymer functionalization of CNT, to achieve the uniform distribution of nanofillers, the zeta potential and the stability test shows that PSS CNT shows the better dispersion stability when compared to the CNT. For the op in order to optimize the nanofillers concentration inside the polymer matrix for efficient strain sensing performance, we have varied the concentration from 0.5 weight percentage to 5 weight percentage inside the polymer matrix and tested the strain sensing characteristics of the developed polymer nanocomposite. Here we have some, all, all the sensors shows the linearity, linear in behavior. Here we have summarized the electrical conductivity values and gauge factor values for the different concentration of the CNT. As you see here, when we increase the concentration of the CNT inside the polymer matrix, the electrical conductivity is gradually increases. At particular point, it drastically increases and saturates over the higher concentrations. The point at which we observe the drastic change in the electrical conductivity is called as percolation threshold where we observe the maximum gauge factor around 15 point plus or minus 0.5. The reason for higher gauge factor at the percolation region and low gauge factor at the higher concentration is explained here. In the lower concentrations, there is no electrical conductive network inside the polymer matrix. So there won't be any evident change in the resistance when we apply the strain to the film. Whereas in the percolation threshold, very few electrical conductive networks are formed inside the polymer matrix. When we applied the strain to the film, the electrical conductive network gets breaks. So we observe the maximum change in the resistance for the film. Whereas in the higher concentrations, there are multiple networks, electrical conductive networks are inside the polymer matrix. So when we apply the strain to the film, even though few electrical conductive networks are gets broken, electron, ha electron has alternative paths to reach the lower potential. So we observe the very low change in the resistance. This is the reason why we observe the maximum gauge factor at the percolation region and low gauge factor at the higher concentrations. With this optimized nanofiller concentration of two weight percentage, we have made a long flexible strain sensor tape using this synthesis process. As you've seen here, we have disposed the PSS CNT nanofillers inside the polymer matrix and casted in the mold, roll pressed to get the long flexible strain sensor tape with uniform thickness. Once we made the film, we have coated the adhesive on top of that using Dr. Blade method and covered with the liner sheet, followed by roll pressed and hot pressed to get the uniform thickness film. Finally, we have deposited the thin film copper using electron beam deposition method. Here we have shown the final developed flexible strain sensor tape so that the end user can simply cut the single strip from the long flexible strain sensor tape and stick wherever they want by removing the silicon liner paper from the back side for efficient strain sensing performance. Here we have shown the 
cross sectional semi images of the developed strain sensor tape the first layer shows the flexible strain sensor bottom to that second layer shows the pressure sensitive undersuit the third layer shows the liner sheet when we zoom in the flexible strain sensor you can see the uniform distribution of the cnt nanofillers inside the polymer matrix the surface profilometer confirms that uniform coating of the undersuit beneath the strain sensor then we have carried out the we have tested the mechanical strength of the bare film the the result shows that Young's modulus of around 532 megapascal. This confirms that the developed strain sensor is not only flexible; it is also robust in nature. Then we have carried out the adhesive strength measurement using 180 degree peel test method. This shows that 9.38 psi, which is on par with the commercial standard. Finally, we have tested the developed strain sensor tape along the length of the strain sensor in multiple positions. the result shows that the gauge factor and the electrical conductivity is quite uniform throughout the length of the strain sensor tape this is mainly because of uniform distribution of nanofillers inside the polymer matrix this is achieved because of pss polymer functionalization of cnt then we have carried out the cyclic stability test for the developed strain sensor the sensor shows the excellent stability is excellent response for cyclic loading of loading and unloading for 50 continuous cycles these results shows that the developed strain sensor is highly reliable then we have developed the indigenously developed the portable interfacing device enabled with iot so that we can demonstrate the flexible strain sensor for wearable electronic applications here we have shown the demonstration when we applied the load to the sensor you can see the change in the resistance of the film in the mobile device i wait to uh, please make it fast yeah yeah so so when we unload it so the resistance goes back to its original resistance original resistance back so the conclusion we have successfully designed and developed a user centric design framework for flexible strain sensor tape and demonstrated the same for wearable electronics application enabled with iot this design from the user perspective this design offers easy peel and stick model no hardship in the installation process and provides quick installation also from the industry perspective this design provides the smart packaging of the sensor this design is highly scalable and industry friendly manufacturing also this is this design is offers then technical perspective the developed strain sensor is highly flexible and conformable flat adhesive provides the effective stress transmission from the substrate to the sensor and we have achieved the high gauge factor around 15 which is seven times higher than the commercially available strain gauge thank you